good morning back to it now monday after a busy weekend of markets uh just some nuke checks god that hive's busy they are well and truly on the floor saying that i had a lot of uh, bees trying to rob this morning round round home so yeah there man it, this nuke on there is quite quiet though i want to check that in fact i want to check them all uh, so plan for today is checks, checks and a few more checks, more splits, well that's my plan anyway, but you know, you know what normally happens to plans, I'll go out the window and it'll be a case of damage mitigation as normal, so, uh, but yeah, busy day ahead, because I'm only on a, a three day week this week because I'm heading back down to Hereford to check the bees on the borage. Uh, I've just come to Mike's and I've also just been talking to, um, another farmer where we've got a nuke site tommy uh about the field beans and he was saying uh obviously seen it on the video the beans were about three and a half foot so that's a really good crop i'll just come back now tommy and these beans are as tall as i am so yeah they're six foot two no they're not really six foot two but they're over five foot anyway now some of these beans an epic crop look at them i half expected them to be finished now but uh there's no sign of it, which is good. They're really, really busy, so suit it up, get in them. Hopefully get in some extra supers. So I don't know if you've noticed, but our suits have had a wash. Got them in the washing machine yesterday with a bit of soda crystals. Uh, so nice and clean now. I can't I seem to find my sweat band, my headband. So I sweat just breathing me, so uh, I always like to put uh, one of those headbands on, but they must still be in the wash somewhere. So they're just venturing into the second super. Neither, but the first soup is not full yet. But that's why the brew box is yet again jam packed with honey. Lots of brood, and then the back filling in that within that brew pattern. So these are just thinking about swarming. Clay cups or cells that have just been laid in. So that's a little more like it. But they've not put it away as much as I'd expect. move some frames around just get them to stop chimneying so these six hives are literally 100 meters away from the other set but the difference is these were in full sun all day long they ought to they already look busier to be honest still right on the head under the crop um this crop's not as tall i don't know when it was planted when they were planted same time or what but Either way, um, let's have a look. Won't fill a little bit more in these ones. So these six are actually behind productivity wise than the other ones. And yet I have a, yet another site, which is just another 100 meters further on, which I know will be bursting at the seams with honey. It's a strange one, but to be honest, I think it's my fault. Or I know it's my fault to be fair. So all these, these 12 hives here came from the rapeseed. And there was a massive, massive gap. So there was a huge gap this year between the end of the rapeseed and the start of the field beans. Where I had no choice but to knock these back a little bit by taking a few splits and uh, and just keeping tabs on them. Uh, and I think ultimately I've probably knocked them back a little bit too much, which resulted in them playing catch up once they've get once they've got up here. So then they're big enough now. They're starting to bring nectar in now, but I think it's taken that week or two just for them to get it back up to uh, a productive size so um, I just hope there's enough of the field bean season left from uh, to at least fill a couple of supers but we will find out won't we so we've just come and mown this site but one thing that's immediately apparent is how aggressive these bees are they've been really really defensive in the face trying to sting 
so it's really dull mm -hmm. it's overcast today they're busy so i think the next floor's still there we've still got the field beans on the other side of the hedge i think it's just the conditions they're uh, literally horrible so quick as we can here more than more than we need to and uh, save ourselves a few stings so one thing i've been noticing across all of our sites is the bees haven't been pulling the cappings down on the supers up until now so we've finally got some caps on here that's ready to go so that's what's that three supers on that one ready now i'm not into taking supers off all the time once they're capped but these are destined to be moved to some facilia that's just been planted this week so obviously i want to make them as light as possible god i'm sweating like mad it might be overcast but it's not cold fix just come over this um end board dummy board and just pointed out look at the pollen in that that they built it's like a mosaic just greens yellows the blacks in there gray bits of all sorts I said they need a little bit more space as well, wouldn't you? We're being watched and warned. Let's get a Vic to pull one of these out. So I'm not gonna, again, bore you to death with Liverpool one updates, but at present, they're putting a little bit away. Just starting to pull cappings down on the uh, this first super but the weather's not fantastic at the moment as you can probably tell a little bit dull so we'll leave this on and see what's on still on at the end of the season if they need it it's theirs to consume so i'm back at the spring osr site so i apologize if there's any wind noise it's quite blustery up here actually um some checks some supers to add they're really really busy here as well look at that look at that rapeseed uh yeah some checks and then i've got some of these nukes to transfer into full-size hives i brought a couple of more nukes up with me um <coughs> again ah. that's my own fault that's my own fault getting stung in the head should walk past the hives last should i so uh so yeah, I'll give you a little OSR update. So that's the OSR and not only can I see it covered in honeybees, but you can hear it as well. I'm getting a couple of warnings here at Saturday. Yeah, but if you look over the top of the rapeseed, it's just alive with bees. Um, so yeah they're definitely on that and they're certainly on the beans so this is the big swarm colony that wouldn't fit in my box uh, for one of my own hives in another site and they are already been what less than a week and they're well and truly over this box they're up into the super and there's no wonder why really with this kind of floor one so I've second frame in I can already see eggs so I've definitely caught the queen when I uh, when I scooped them up. In fact, she's there and she's not marked. So I've not got a chance to do much filming today, to be honest. I've just been getting me in the eyes and getting it done. I've just come up to Southport, the bees are busy. I wasn't expecting that, someone's been in mowing all the banks of the uh, of the waterways and the side of the crop, so better for it. And luckily they've not hit the hives, which is always a bonus. Um, so I'm having to push myself today and get more than I normally would done because obviously I'm heading back down to the boroughs this week. I've still got loads and loads of frames to build swore blind this is the last year i'm building frames from now on everything i get i mean everything will be pre-built um because uh it wastes so much time or well, not wasting but i just haven't got the time to be making frames so I check these looked at the forecast it's meant to be nice for the rest of the week except tomorrow's tomorrow's a washout complete washout 
Uh, even got flood warnings tomorrow. So extra supers on these, and then I can head down south without the worry of uh, running out of space. So this is a first for me. This nuke was one of the five little cast ones we had up at Scarrow's Brick. Now, on first inspection, after leaving for a couple of weeks, there was no queen, so I introduced a virgin, which, again, two, three weeks later, nothing. Uh, and then we've subsequently got a uh, lame worker in here now. So I brought them over to another site, split uh, the new cut, so three frames into each of these wooden nukes. And on cleaning the poly nuke, I noticed a load of wild comb on the bottom. At this point, I've already knocked the bees out the uh, out the nuke. And as I've come back and looked, I found a mated queen. So obviously, I noticed with the wild comb there was uh, work, proper worker brood in it. And I found a mated queen. Also, she's come back uh, after being mated, and instead of going in the entrance, has gone under the hive because it's a ventilated floor. They've uh, they've been able to pass some pheromone of some sorts, but obviously at some point they've gone laying worker, and she's been happily laying underneath the box. So she's marked now. I'm going to put her in one nuke, which leaves me just another nuke then to uh, to add a, a new queen to. That's it, first for me. Uh, never seen that before, never heard it before. So I've had swarms that have gone underneath with a queen underneath the boxes and things like that, but uh, no, that's the first. Welcome back to our little workshop shed. It's been a while, hasn't it? So those of you who have followed us from the start will recognise where we are. Obviously a little bit more, uh, shall we say, cluttered, unkept than it is in winter. You know what it's like. This time of year, you've got to prioritise. And at the moment, the work, tidying the workshop just isn't a priority for me but i'm heading back down to the borrows this week and i'm although i've built all my supers i need to finish off building up the rest of my frames and foundation so i think we had over a thousand to build initially so i thought so again those of you who watched us from the start will have seen this little jig before and a bigger one for our brood frames but i just thought i'd take the opportunity to show uh our new subscribers and our new viewers my little uh, my little cheat for making my frames. So buy our frames in bulk. As I've said already, this is probably the last year I'm going to start buying uh, flat pack frames. It's just uh, it's not time efficient for me. Um, although they're a little bit more expensive uh, pre-built, it just saves so much time, especially at the, at the minute uh, time I don't have. And then our foundation, I just use Simon the Beekeeper. It, it just is the best quality. There's maybe one other on the market uh, that uh, that comes close to it, but the foundation is, like I say, fantastic quality, really thick, um, both super and brood foundation of all varieties. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's where I source my my foundation from. How he sorts me out in bulk though. So I'll show you, I'll speed it up a little bit. So I'll show you in fast more. How we go about putting these frames together. And there we have it, all built, 
So these are the very first ones I made. So I made this one for the super frames and I made a bigger one for obviously for my brood frames that takes 15 frames. They work first time round, so I never changed them. Although this one just is a little bit snug getting the frames out. But uh, once you get one out, obviously it's fine. Yeah, but it was a case if it's not broke, don't fix it. But I could, I suppose, fettle it a little bit, but. And there we go. So I just used 20 mil staples for the top. And then these are a 15 mil brad to put the bottom bars on. And then I use those again for fastening the foundation in. It does speed things up dramatically. Uh, I'd hate to still be. I think my brew's ready. Uh, I'd hate to still be doing it one other time. Definitely helps.